Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of the students and families that have joined us here today uh, for an awesome presentation on the Ingenuity Program here at James McHenry Elementary Middle School. My name is Christoph Turk. I'm the proud principal of James McHenry, and I just want to start by extending our gratitude to you for taking the time uh, to be here with us today to hear about our school. I want to uh, begin by sharing with you a cornerstone belief at our school that underpins our vision. Um, it's known as 100% for 100%. Students, you'll hear me say that a lot, 100% for 100% effort. Families, you'll hear me say that a lot. You'll hear me say that to our staff. And what 100% for 100% is our mindset uh, that all students matter, that our approach is that every contribution from every stakeholder matters, that every minute of instruction matters, that every day that we come in is a new day to be our best self and give a full, complete effort. And what we believe is that if everybody collectively is giving 100% for 100%, uh, we're going to yield extraordinary results. So my name again, Christoph Turk. Uh, I have an Irish mom and a Lebanese dad, a first generation immigrant, moved to the United States when I was 10 years old and uh, spent my teenage years in Massachusetts and moved to Baltimore to teach uh, social studies uh, in 2007. This is my eighth year as a principal, my fourth at James McHenry. Um, I love the job. Uh, I love our work. Uh, I love leadership. And most importantly, I love working with young people, families, and educators. I should get this out now because uh, I have any Baltimore Ravens fans in the audience. Uh, I am a New England Patriot uh, fan. I do stick with my New England roots, although I will acknowledge that we are not having that's a, that uh, a successful season at this time, and I do uh, uh, shout out and uh, uh, extend my kudos to all of those Ravens fans, as you all have a dominant team this year. Uh, this is our uh, outstanding, dedicated middle school assistant principal, Ms. Goodwin. Uh, you will uh, hear a lot from Ms. Goodwin. She works so closely with our middle schoolers, uh, born and raised in Baltimore. She is a, way, uh, a Baltimore Ravens fan um, and just an outstanding educator. The one thing that I can say about James McHenry is that that this is the school that never sleeps. We have a little bit for everybody. First of all, if you take a look at the academics and enrichment, we do have a rec to tech program, which is perfect for students who are in love with science and math. We also have a science fair that we do every year with our sixth grade students. You'll find here that we have a variety of um, enrichment programs like French this year. Kids absolutely love that. We also have music and dance. We have a lot of partners who help us to meet the needs of our families and our students. So we work with the Digital Harbor Foundation, the Chill Foundation, which also offers skateboarding and skiing in the winter. And then we have the Breathmobile for students who have asthma. It's a great opportunity for students to be seen on a monthly basis. And then, of course, what would be a school without athletics? And we have a full range of athletic programming for our students, including Harlem Lacrosse Boys and girls. So if you come to James McHenry, you'll find that there's something for everybody. Uh, we are one of the only um, uh, middle schools that offers a full-time foreign language course that begins in sixth grade. That's French, because again, that goes back to our vision of excellence. We want to give all of our students the opportunity and really catalog of academic choice to be able to get ahead of things that you will be required to do when you get into high school. So our vision is that we believe in being multicultural and we believe in our students having these assets like foreign language access. By the time you get to high school, already have an understanding of that language to propel you into success. And lastly, one of our uh, uh, sports opportunities is Harlem Lacrosse. That's a flagship nationally recognized uh, lacrosse program that begins in sixth grade and is very popular um, with our middle school. And you'll see some of the pictures here as we move through uh, the presentation. Of this is the schedule. Um, and, and the logistics when uh, we return. So we uh, begin at 7.30 with breakfast, with it, which is optional. And then uh, at 7.50 a.m., we start to transition up to class. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. is the regular school day, Monday through Thursday. Friday, we do have a 1.45 p.m. early dismissal for students because we have professional development where our teachers are learning and developing their craft to be even stronger the next day every Friday uh, 
from two to four. Our uniform, you'll see um, one option there. We, we have the red sweater. We also have uh, gray polos and we have gray t-shirts. Um, and all of our families, uh, when you enroll, uh, we give you one of each for free, um, just as a token of our appreciation for joining our school family. We have an active, awesome PTO that meets regularly on a monthly basis. And I do want all of you to know out there uh, that if you have younger siblings or younger uh, children uh, in elementary school, we embrace uh, the opportunity um, for those students to join our school as well. We have a robust elementary school with really dedicated teachers and, and awesome programming. And so if that's something that you're chewing on and you're considering uh, your younger siblings coming and joining James McHenry, just know that's not a problem. We welcome that. Uh, we encourage that. We embrace that. You just need to let us know um, uh, as you uh, move into Ingenuity, if that's something you would like. Uh, as you see, our students are front and center, engage in so many different um, uh, outlets that we take pride in at James McHenry. And a lot of pictures here are, are, are our middle school students, um, because as you rise into sixth grade, um, that's the second chapter of your school career, and you will be um, entering a phase where there will be just lots and lots of opportunity for you to tap into the gifts and talent that each of you have. And remember, okay, that everybody, every student has a gift and a talent to offer. And we want to make sure that you have, uh, whether it's music, poetry, dance, sports, uh, um, uh, at, at STEM, uh, after school programming, those sorts of things. We want to make sure that you can plug into that and fly. Uh, we uh, started our work at James McHenry three years ago as part of a turnaround effort. That's when myself and our team came along. Um, and uh, we've seen some really extraordinary things take place. Uh, we were 337 families total three years ago. Today we stand at 672 and we continue to grow. Um, that's 335 additional families over that time. And that really uh, tells you the story about uh, meeting family expectations, uh, meet it, making sure that parents are satisfied with the schooling experience Experience that we offer. Um, we take seriously actively listening um, and using family feedback to inform our decision making. And so, you know, uh, that's just one um, result that we take a lot of pride in as we are a growing school. Uh, also, parent survey data. Families, we give surveys, uh, you know, every year. Um, and I know you probably have some survey fatigue because there's been a lot of that over the last, uh, you know, six months or so. But one of the things about the surveys, we want to know how satisfied you are. And this, uh, the, the statistics here will show you when we first came the satisfaction rates were very low um, and we actually had some of the largest gains um, across the city uh, as you'll see overall satisfaction moved up to 90 percent overall 20 plus percent in each category and really this is about making sure that the programming the staffing uh, the the academics the the, the family engagement um, the leadership all meet your expectation and the vision that we each have to build an excellent uh, uh, school that can compete on a national level. Uh, speaking of academic results, we have been able to double our park proficiency over the last three years. Our attendance grew to 90% and we have one of the strongest uh, elementary programs with reading data continuing to grow. As you know, if you're thinking about younger siblings coming, you learn to read in, early, uh, in those early uh, grade levels, and then you read to learn as you get into upper elementary school. So you'll find that we have dedicated teachers that really understand the craft of literacy instruction. Uh, Ms. Heidi, did you want to uh, share a little bit about the summer programming we offer families uh, and students each year? Yes, Mr. Turk, summer programming here at James McHenry is just incredible. It's just like having school during the, um, what you would find during the rest of the school year. We have the Summer Arts Learning Academy. So if you have younger siblings who are interested in um, reading and, and arts and dance and, and drama, then that will be a program that you would definitely want to sign up for. We also will have the Rec to Tech program that will operate right from our Community Engagement Center the UMB Community Engagement Center right across our playground. We have the UMB PAL program, Beyond the Natural Foundation Music program. That's a program that started in our school last school year, and it is incredible where students learn to play instruments, all different types of music programming, including um, video um, recording. So it's really interesting. And then, of course, there's the Ingenuity Summer Orientation. Our Ingenuity program is entering uh, we, when your class comes 
becomes its third year. And um, you will be part of an important cohort that will come in. The eighth graders at that time will be able to mentor you and onboard you because they have been a part of the James McHenry Ingenuity Program uh, for its first full cycle. So again, um, this is an advanced uh, uh, academic program that really puts a premium on, on science and math. And here again are just some pictures uh, to give you a sense of the family feel that we have at JM, the fun we have, the palpability, the positive relationships. Uh, here you're seeing everything from our annual barbecue to some of our Valentine's Day dances to literacy night, uh, math night. Um, here again, you'll see some of our students in action. Uh, again, you know, leading the way, everything from some mural development to basketball to skateboarding to um, rock climbing and to lacrosse. And we are fortunate enough to be able to have parents who really like to participate, whether it's volunteering um, in our school or whether it's coming out to some of the anchor events that we have. So each year we, we have a Valentine's dance in which uh, fathers get an opportunity to bring their daughters to the school. We combine that with a literacy event and it's a lot of fun. We have, of course, back to school night. We have a math and literacy night. And last year was the first year that we had a fashion show in which students actually designed their own um, wear um, that was made up of household goods. So it was a great uh, way of taking recycled products and wearing them as fashion. And the students and parents absolutely loved it. So lots of going, things going on here at James McHenry, including PTO meetings, Mr. Turk. I think one of the, 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 the things you'll notice is you, families, students, and staff the camaraderie among us on the same wavelength, um, working together. Um, and that's really what it's all about. Um, when we are one team and we are working towards one vision of excellence for our students, well, you know what? Uh, it's a rising tide of success for everybody and uh, the sky is the limit. I wanna thank you again for taking the time to be here with us today, for considering James McHenry as one of the options um, uh, that you are, you are currently examining as you think through uh, the middle school choice process. Um, I wanna leave you with the contact information. Um, so you welcome you anytime to reach out if there's a question or something discussed in this presentation or something else that you would like to chit chat about. Do not hesitate. You can reach me at Turk at the jmschool.org. You can also reach Miss Heidi at Stevens, okay, at the jmschool.org. Uh, we are located on 31 South Schroeder Street in Southwest Baltimore. Our school number is 410-396-1621. Again, if you need to talk to me or Miss Heidi, just give that number a call. You'll, you'll speak with our outstanding secretary, Miss Lang. Just say, hey, I'd love to follow up with Mr. Turk about a couple things. She'll make sure she gets that to me and I will follow right up with you or Miss Heidi, the same thing. All right, we are accessible and we are here to support you along this journey. Regardless of what the choice is, families, uh, we wish you the very best in the near and long future. I wish you all the best. Looking forward to seeing you at James McHenry in the fall.